Hello and welcome to the Crawley College virtual open event for creative and performing arts. We will just hold on a few more seconds um, just to let some other people join this event and then we'll get started very shortly. Hello and welcome to the Crawley College virtual open event for creative and performing arts. I would like to welcome you all to our department here at Crawley College. My name is Claire Steer, I'm the head of learning for this curriculum area and it is my great pleasure to be able to welcome you into the college even if it's through a virtual experience. Alongside me today is Kim Homer, who is the study program lead for creative arts. And we also have Charlotte Hewitt, who is joining us online, who is the study program lead for performing arts. May I start in saying we are very proud to announce that at our latest offset inspection back in March, we were awarded the grade of outstanding in all areas of the inspection framework. And I'm delighted to be able to show you around our outstanding college, even though it is a virtual event. If you have any questions during the webinar, please just type them in the Q&A area on the screen and we will answer as soon as we can or at the end of the presentation. If we run out of time, please don't worry. All your unanswered questions will be answered directly to your inbox if you had ticked the box to say that we can contact you. Please only use the chat area for technical issues, for example, if you can't hear the speakers, etc. The entire webinar will be recorded and you will be sent a link to watch again if you so wish. Over the next 30 minutes, the team and I will give you a brief overview of the courses we offer in each area and some of the amazing work that the students have done over the last year. So without any further delay, I'd like to hand over to Kim who will tell you a little bit more about our courses in creative art and what to expect if you'd like to come to Crawley College in September. So Kim, over to you. Hi, the college offers the UAL Art Design and Media at Level 1 and a UAL Diploma in Art and Design at Level 2. Both courses encourage students to explore a wide range of art making activities including printmaking, painting, drawing, photography, sculpture, um, two and 3D working techniques. And the idea is that you will develop a portfolio so that you can progress to the next level or another art and design course when you've completed. You may feel that you want to work in one particular area. And while we respect your expertise, we really will encourage you to explore lots of different avenues when you're working. We hope to have visits out both to the beach and to museums when COVID will allow. We encourage a happy, working atmosphere and you are fed back on your work throughout the course. Thank you Kim. We're going to show you some uh, art and design through video and I'd like Kim to talk you through and what you can see. We had an exhibition at the Horse based on recycled materials and all of the work that the students prepared, um, both 2D and 3D, used a lot of recycled materials. The students worked with the students from media to put up the exhibition themselves, to promote the exhibition themselves and to mix with the public to talk about their work. 
as you can see, they put a wide variety of sculptural and 2D pieces into the exhibition. These are some of the shoot students showing their work to members of the public. They also met with the media students who put up a wonderful photography exhibition and they met members of the art society who awarded a prize for the piece of work that they considered to be the best piece of work in the show. The students were really proud of their work. Here's Jodie receiving her prize. That's lovely, Kim. Thank you very much. Um, our um, PowerPoint is just reloading. So you can see the amount of work that our students have been able to uh, undertake over the last few months um, and over the year that we have been undertaking the uh, art course. Um, and the, I think we were all blown away by the work that they did. Um, so it was amazing to see. Um, I'd like now to introduce you to Charlotte Hewitt, who is the study programme lead for Performing Arts, uh, who will go through with you and um, what our fantastic Performing Arts students have been doing over the last year. So Charlotte, over to you. We might need to... Mine is uh, unmute. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Claire. Um, uh, yes, uh, so I uh, lead the performing arts programme here at Crawley College. And uh, we currently offer, uh, again, on the UAL um, spec, uh, we offer a level one and a level two moving into a level three. At the moment, we currently offer level two and three together, although there's a lot of collaboration because that is really what performing arts is all about. Um, whether you come in at level one or level two or with a potential to move into the level three area, um, you'll be working essentially not studying in a classroom, you'll be working essentially as a theatre company. Um, for the UAL specification um, is uh, very much developed and based around projects, um, uh, performance projects, development projects, and you do have an opportunity uh, to be able to develop uh, technical skills and to work in the technical um, disciplines as well. Although I will say this is a performance uh, course as opposed to a technical theatre qualification, um, which is something separate. But we work in collaborative projects as a theatre company would. So the level ones will come in and you'll be supported by level twos, supported by level threes, and but all working together. Um, the spec is based around four projects which run each half term and then you get a final project which hopefully uh, restrictions allowing will be a big performance uh, project. We look at different aspects of performance uh, and theory and the technical aspects again. So it could just be acting. Um, we have dance classes now. You can see I have a very, I might lift up my camera. There's, this is uh, one of the studios that we have here. So you can see um, that we have a collection of dance mirrors and bars. We have some portable, some flexible staging. Um, and uh, I have a smaller studio, a box, black box, what we call black box studio that we can do some work in also. Um, we also have links with the Hall Theatre. So the Hall that you will have seen in Kim's art and design video um, is a place that we can use and we have very close links with that we can not only rehearse in their space, but last year uh, the students were able to perform on the stage. Um, we have links with uh, the Crawley Festival. 
and uh, um, ability to be able to develop pieces of work. We work with devised pieces in the classroom and uh, scripted pieces as well. So the course is a collaboration, which as you work through the projects, your skills will increase and you will be building on from whatever level you come in and you can come with no experience whatsoever, just a love for performing arts. Um, if you have that, uh, that enthusiasm, if you have that love, then it doesn't matter if you haven't done anything outside, you can come in at level one to produce that. Now, I believe we do have a little video as well showing some of the uh, work that the students did last year. Um, they were lucky enough not only to perform on the uh, horse stage last year, but uh, you will see here is a collaborative project that we did with um, uh, an American university that was based in London. And we formed a uh, performance project with the Tower of London. So there's some of my American students and some of the students from Crawley. And we were able to work together, we workshopped, and then there you can see, um, not just working with each other, but also working with the public. And uh, we were able to produce a whole uh, collaborative project, um, which was then taken to the Tower of London. Um, I'm always very, very keen to uh, get uh, as many collaborative projects um, up and running as possible, because that really is where you learn in performing arts. Performing arts is a practical subject. It's a subject where you learn best by doing. And uh, you get all the encouragement, all the support uh, along with Crawley College, but also within the performing arts itself. So we really are, we're a great, uh, we're a great team here. There they all are. And um, along with progression as well, those ones were level one last year and um, nearly all of them have progressed on to level two or level three. So uh, there's a lot of scope for development, for um, to increase your skills. And even if you don't want to go into performing arts as a profession, it is a subject that can improve your communication, that can uh, help with self-confidence, that can, uh, that can increase your collaboration and your teamwork skills. So if you have any interest, any questions, then uh, please do pop them into the chat. I will answer them as best I can. Um, and I will be very, very, very happy to welcome anyone on to Performing Arts next September. I'll hand you back to you now, Claire, I think. Is that where we're going? Thank you so much, Charlotte. Um, it's been such an exciting year for the students um, and we have managed to fit in so much before we sadly had to go into lockdown. Um, the, the work we did at the Tower of London was just incredible. Um, and uh, the STARS performance at the Horse um, is something that will stay in our memory forever. It was, it was unbelievable. Okay, so just before we go um, to questions, we've been answering a few questions online, um, but there are some more that are coming up. So we will go to your questions in just a moment. Um, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about other support areas on site um, who are here to help you during your time at college um, and maybe help you choose your next steps. The Progression Plus team are dedicated in supporting students to consider what they'd like to do next, whether it be going into work or maybe moving on to another course. We have an amazing student executive at the college and you can join in by becoming a student rep, um, attending rep meetings or attending clubs, maybe outside of your classes. Um, there's a lot going on um, at Crawley College um, and it's so lovely to see our students being really, really involved in not only their courses that they attend with us, but the wider community as well. I hope you have found um, the information really, really helpful. Um, and we will now move on to your questions. As I say, we have answered some questions online, Kim and I, um, but we will go uh, and see what other questions we have here. Okay, um, so we have a question about going on trips for art and what trips have you been on previously? Um, I think one of the things that we found was that obviously we entered COVID um, sort of February, March time, um, and we weren't able to have undertaken any trips um, before that time. They were planned for the summer, um, but we haven't been able to undertake any trips. Kim, would you like to expand a little bit more about what we would like to do? We would. We obviously would like to visit um, some museums in both Brighton and London, and we would like to run some activity trips where we go as a group to produce work 
in a natural setting down on the beach or maybe in the forest, but we would be open to listening to what our students would like to do in the future when we are able to take trips again. Lovely, thank you. Um, uh, Charlotte, this is one for you. Uh, will I have to sing if I take performing arts? I'm not a very good or confident singer. No, you do not have to sing. And if you heard me, you would probably, uh, you'd probably be thankful as well. Um, no, the beauty of the spec is that it can work with your strengths or indeed where, uh, where you would like to grow in. Um, I'm hoping, although again, lockdown has scuppered this somewhat, but we're hoping to get a singing teacher in live um, but per perhaps we can do it, with, I'm looking at trying to do it on Zoom because I do have some students who are and want to develop their singing skills, um, but it's certainly not a requirement nor a prerequisite. It is a course of performance which uh, covers all aspects of performance and we work with your strengths. I develop other skills, but you don't have to and there's the same with the technical as well i think i do see another question about yes can i work on or specialize in costume design now i did mention this briefly in the um uh in the description of the course um there is an opportunity to work for we have some lights we have some professional led lights here uh we obviously have in fact i can show you here people doing model boxes or set design um, and I've also uh, we have had students who have designed costumes for the performances um, you can do that because it is performance and production so in order to put on a production we need to cover all the aspects lighting sound uh, set costume design however this isn't a technical theatre qualification it is a performance and production qualification so if you did want to uh, develop in just a technical skill a design skill then it would be for example costume design i would probably go and do the art course actually um, uh, however if you wanted to get a more rounded experience and develop some of those course some of those core skills in production then come to performing arts but there are qualifications out there for specifically design skills and technical skills. Um, you can, we can do touch on it, we do need it, but this is a, a general performance and production qualification. There we go. Um, Charlotte, we've also got, I mean, you have probably done this a little bit, uh, what type of careers, you've, you've expanded a little bit on the careers that um, you can do through performing arts. Um, is it a difficult industry to get into? I know my daughter has done, um, sound engineer for performing arts um, and currently it's quite difficult um, but maybe you'd like to expand on that a wee bit please so well the way i like to to have is being someone who's worked in performing arts for 25 years um i like to think of it as particularly now it's probably no more difficult than any other industry so uh, and i think what as i touched on in the uh, introduction it will give you confidence um, and communication skills and you tell me a job where you don't actually have to communicate with anyone so I think it will actually support you in anything that you go on to do in the future um, everyone has to go to job interviews for example so in order to go to a job interview you need to have good communication skills good uh, self-confidence and the ability to be able to, to talk to people um, if you are focused on a career in the industry which I can support you in. I, I've worked, like I say, I've worked in it for many, many years myself. Um, it, I'm not going to lie, it is difficult, um, uh, but there are routes and there are certain, there are good pathways that you can go into. And I think at the moment, uh, you, you've got just as much chance being a, a hotel manager as you have been um, being a performing arts as professional. So I would say if it's your passion and you really want to do it, do it. And I will support you and point you in the right direction and help you in any way that I can using my own experience. Um, so, yeah, I think don't go and do what you want to do. So, absolutely. Thank you. Um, passion, that's what we quite like here, isn't it? A little bit of passion. Yeah. 
um, especially as students have a passion for something that they love and um, whether it be art or whether it be performing arts um, you've got a fantastic team of people here to be able to help you um, Charlotte there's just one final question about the type of trips we go on for performing arts and um, obviously at the moment we're a little bit stuck for what yeah. we can do yeah yeah of course this is all hopefully fingers crossed one day we will be able to go out again um like uh, similar to what kim said as well uh that i will take feedback from and suggestions uh from the floor um from my students um if they have uh, if they particularly want to do or go somewhere um i work with collaboratively again with uh, universities or if um or a uh, you know sites that i have worked in professionally i'm associate artist with the tower of london and, have, and the historic royal palaces so i have i've got a bit of an in that i can take students to go and perform there um but also uh there are planned trips we got to go to the horse uh, to see some of the shows um i would uh, like to be able to when lockdown is over to be able to go on trips to um london to um drury lane theater for example where they do backstage tours the national theater so uh while not a course requirement unlike gcse a level where it's a course requirement that you go and see live theater um we don't have to but of course you know any um any opportunity to go and see live theatre is a, an amazing thing. Um, so I try and get people out as much as possible. And the Hawth, again, are very supportive of that. They are receiving theatre, so they get lots of people coming in, lots of different shows coming in. So we were able to go and see uh, see quite a few of those. Um, uh, there was one last thing I was gonna say about trips. Um, but yeah, any any suggestions, I will always, uh, I will always take from uh, students um, to enrich uh, the, uh, the course because, oh, that was the other thing I was gonna say, we have a great link with uh, uh, online, um, Digital Theatre Plus, online drama, where we can watch um, a whole wealth of recorded live theatre um, from the Donmar, from the Royal Shakespeare Company, from, um, from the National Theatre, um, all over musicals, straight theatre, all sorts of different styles that we have as an institution, as a college, we're able to access for free. So if we can't get out, we can still go and watch stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Um, and that is the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for joining us on our virtual tour. And um, we can't wait for you to join us in September. Um, you can apply for your chosen course by using the links on the screen. Uh, any questions you have, please don't hesitate to send them through to us and we will do our very best to answer them for you. Um, uh, thank you very much for attending and we hope to see you all very soon. Please stay safe.